here we are actually seeing relatively in the flesh Kawasaki's new Ninja H2R supercharged approximately 300 horsepower engine and there are some important differences here between this and a ZX10 engine. On a ZX10 which is unsupercharged the air comes into the air box, here's the air box, from the front by via the ram air tubes and the air then flows through the filter and into the four intake stacks on the engine. You can see that there's a fuel injector below the throttle plate and a shower head injector above the throttle plate. That's the same way that it would be on any sports motorcycle. But on this machine, instead of the air coming into the air box from the front, it enters this supercharger. You see that complicated organic looking whirly gig there. It has six inducer vanes and as it rotates at speeds of up to 140,000 rpm it accelerates the air outward to a velocity of close to 1500 feet per second and when you give air that much energy and bring it to a stop the energy of velocity transforms into the energy of pressure and that pressure is collected by a scroll housing around the supercharger rotor and you see it going upward and entering the cast aluminum airbox. The airbox has to be cast aluminum because there's pressure in there and not just ram air pressure this is supercharged pressure or maybe 2.4 atmospheres so there's some serious air pressure in there. An engine's power is normally related to its displacement. A, a thousand cc engine might produce twice the power of a 500 cc engine. But in this case, supercharging adds another dimension. Namely, we're going to put as much air as a 2.4 liter engine could take into this one liter engine, and we're going to get 2.4 liters worth of power. And that's why they're able to take an engine that normally is rated at, what, 180 horsepower, and boost it to 300. In order to make this supercharger turn at this tremendous speed, uh, 128,000 at the nominal power point, there's a step-up drive located behind the impeller, which is driven from a shaft off the back of the crankshaft, and that can be seen from the opposite side. But what's important here is that the air passes through this supercharger, its pressure is elevated, the air box is filled not with air at atmospheric pressure but with super atmospheric air and the engine breathes a much denser mixture than it otherwise would.